Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Rosie with Whimsical Charm and as promised this week, I am going to review the process of making the bids that I will be introducing, showcasing and selling at the Knott's Berry Farm Boysenberry Festival. What I'm going to show you first is how I separate what I have and then I'll speak about the process along the way. So on this side, I have the bids separated by fabrications. So are my plush fabrications. Then we have the, the Peanuts Gang in a separate fabrication. Then we have some more of the Peanuts Gang in our cotton fabrication. Down here, I'm going to show you a few other prints and I separate this again by fabrication. So these are our sports themed bibs. All these bibs here are part of my swaddle collection. So it's a whole array of different prints in here. This is the terry cloth that is backed on this um, other print. So this is the backing to the bib and this is what helps absorb any um, saliva, any gushiness that comes out of a baby from eating and teething and the whole bit, but it's very um, absorbent fabric. So this is a really great fabric. So we don't throw any fabric away. Fabric becomes any scrap piece of fabric becomes our bibs and or our mittens. So this stack here is going to get ready to be cut. Then we have our other bibs here, which I apply a completely different treatment, which is either a digital print or a screen print. So these are the couple different bib um, varieties that you will see at the Boys and Berries, at the Knott's Berry Farm Boys and Berry uh, Festival. Okay, so once we kind of separate everything, I then combine the backing with one of the front pieces. So these guys here are already pre-cut. I then bring select a pattern, match it up with the backing, and this is what starts the bib. Ultimately, it will go like this, right? And what I end up doing is I'll sew these onto, There's it's a two machine process. The first one goes through an overlock machine, which connects both of these pieces together. I then have to turn the bibs inside out So then they are, I have a sample over here. So it turns out like this, this is a finished sample, but I turn it inside out. Once this process is done, I then have to close the bib and that's what these needles are here for. Another treatment is the top stitch. So this helps with the quality and just the little details, the finishing of it. Another item that I use are the snaps and that is applied by this little gadget that looks like some pliers we have the snaps here and this is another finished bib and here are the snaps there right a lot of people ask me how big are the uh is the opening of this size in reference to baby's neck so i tell them it goes around my neck, so <laughs> it fits several different neck sizes. And then we apply our hang tag. This is one of the machines here that I use. This is my single needle machine. The entire process from beginning to end, everything that I've just shown you right now has taken me about a week to complete. So again, because this the bibs are part of our sustainability, all of these fabrics, all of these bibs have taken months for me to collect. Once I uh, cut and sew, whether it's a, bit, um, a robe or a blanket, the scrap pieces are gathered. I collect everything, put it on a, in a bin. Once I get a nice stack, then I have them cut. So when it's one bib, say I need a, um, cut one bib or I have an order just for a couple individual bibs I will do it myself cut everything myself however but because for the purpose of the boysenberry festival there are hundreds of units that I'm preparing at one time so I use my resources 
I then reach out to friends who have cutting machines and cutting uh, tables that help with the process. So they help me cut the bibs. And that takes about three days, an additional three days. Once that's done, then again, I come back and I either start sewing or it's myself between family members and a couple of the other friends who also help me then with the sewing portion of it. And that alone, the sewing portion can take up to seven days, even with, let's say there's three of us involved, any of between three and five, and all of us are doing this on a um, part-time basis per se, because we're getting other things done at the same time. So all of this has been two months work in progress, but from cutting to sewing, you have the three days and then you have an additional seven days. So it's a lot of work. A lot of work goes into the preparation of this um, boysenberry festival. And again, just like I said, when it's one order, a couple orders here and there, I'll do everything myself, but definitely I use my resources with my friends and so those who have the equipment and um, they all help me out. So it's a huge, a huge help. Once I'm done here, I, um, we throughout the days at the Boysenberry Festival in order to kind of help us out throughout this process too, one of the items that is the final item to apply are the snaps. So if you join us at the Boysenberry Festival, you may see myself or my uh, staff members applying these at the booth because it's the very last process. And this is easy enough to carry around with us and we just apply it there. So what we do is we try to get enough items done to last us for one week. And then throughout the days, we're there working on more. I'll come back and I'll sew some more throughout the day. We'll have my, the staff, anyone who is helping me will be applying, applying these uh, snaps throughout the day. Every week, we try to come out with a new print or a new item. So definitely uh, check us out there. I also am recording little snippets of my sewing process and I upload those onto my other social media platforms. So you can check me out on Instagram and on um, Facebook. Again, everything's at Whimsical Charm and you'll see it in my story. So that's an addition to, you know, just a, an additional uh, snippets of what you see me in the process of with the sewing portion. So right here, I kind of just wanted to show you the layout of everything, kind of talk to you with regards to the process, the length of time. And um, so you can see the finish, a finished product also. So definitely I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Um, post some comments below. Let me know if there's something else that you would be interested in seeing or if you have a question with regards to the process and anything that I mentioned today. And I will make sure to respond to it. Next week, we will have, um, I'll have another item to show you as we are counting down to the festival. The first day of the Knott's Berry Farms Boysenberry Festival is the 18th of March. If you haven't grabbed your tickets, pick them up at knots.com. Um, and uh, join us for a fun uh, festivity. And again, um, Check us out, the other snippets on Instagram or on Facebook, and you'll see me in motion with the sewing machines. Thank you for joining me. It was a pleasure welcoming you into my space, and um, I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you guys next time.